Genesis chapter 2, verses 15 to 17. The Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. And the Lord God commanded the man, You are free to eat from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. You will surely die. 15 to 17. The Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. And the Lord God commanded the man, You are free to eat from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. You will surely die. Well, it's lovely to be with you again. And um, thanks to Andrew for doing the reading for us today from Genesis chapter 2, verses 15 to 17, and also Genesis chapter 3. Verses 1 to 7 and 15. And today we're going to be looking at glory thieves. Now I wonder what that could be about. Now you may have noticed I'm not in my usual place today. I'm visiting family and we, there's lots of Christmas activities going on here. Lots of ornaments and lovely things. So I'm going to carry on and read from our book today, Tracing Glory. The garden in Eden was a beautiful place, full of beautiful trees with delicious fruit. Adam and Eve lived there and God was with them. He allowed them to eat fruit from every tree in the garden except one, the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Now, Adam and Eve were even allowed to eat from the tree of life and live forever. But if they disobeyed God, and ate from the forbidden tree, God promised they would surely die. This tree was a test for Adam and Eve to remind them that God is the one who decides what's right and wrong because he is the creator. He makes the rules because he is good. So he knows what is good and right for us. Everything was wonderful until a snake in the garden started telling lies. The snake found Eve and began to question God's word. Did God really say? He would say. Eve started to wonder why God wouldn't let her eat from that tree. That particular one. Was he trying to hide something good from her? She wondered. Then the snake told a big fat lie. He told Eve that she would not surely die if she ate from the tree of good and of knowledge of good and evil. The snake promised that eating, eating the forbidden fruit would make Eve wise, just like God. But Eve was already like God in many ways. She was made in his image, a true picture of him. Obeying God's word would make Eve truly wise. Sadly, though, she believed being like God wasn't enough. Eve wanted to be God. She wanted to make her own rules. She didn't want to reflect God's glory. She wanted to steal it for herself. Eve disobeyed God and ate the fruit. She gave some to Adam, who disobeyed too. And the darkness of sin came into their hearts and into the world. Sin is the choice to reject God and not trust his goodness. Humans, me and you, sin when we disobey God's word and try to steal his glory for ourselves. Because of their sin, Adam and Eve could no longer continue to live with God. They had to leave the garden. They couldn't see and show God's glory as they once had, and life became really hard. When Adam and Eve disobeyed God, their hearts died immediately, and one day their bodies would die too. That is a very sad story, isn't it? Well, it would be, if not for God. God gave Adam and Eve a promise of hope. They would still have children and God promised that. One day, 
he was going to send one of those children to crush the head of that evil lying snake. The snake crusher would be everything right and good in the world. <clears throat> now Adam and Eve sinned against God by disobeying his word, didn't they? And evil and pain came into the world after that. Now, if you were listening carefully, some questions that you might have had, or some questions that you may be wanting to answer. What was the one rule that God gave Adam and Eve in the garden? Can you remember? And a very important question. Why do you think they disobey God's rule? And then finally, what promise did God give Adam and Eve? And how can that help us when we get things wrong? Now, we all get things wrong, don't we? But this story has just told us that when we listen to God, because he is good, he knows what's good for us. And so if we listen and obey, then we'll be okay. So we'll carry on our next story tomorrow. I hope you're enjoying it. If you've got any questions about this book or any questions about some things I've said, write them in the comment bar and I'll get back to you. I hope you've, um, maybe you've eaten your chocolate on day three, but if you haven't, I hope you'll enjoy it later on and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.